What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Budge light truck cover I picked up at Walmart for $44.96. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of first impressions and then an installation. I do want to go over a couple specific features of this product so that when you go to the store, you can make your best informed decision. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions. First thing I want to point out is when you do go into Walmart to look at these covers, there are two different options. You have car and truck. This is the basic truck cover and you can pretty much tell it's the truck cover because there is a truck. Also, one thing I want to point out is when you do go to Walmart, there will be two options, an option for a car. This one obviously is for a truck. Uh, it doesn't matter what color I go with or really even that it fits. I just need to basically cover the truck as best I can. Now, I do want to just quickly point out why I am reviewing this truck cover here today. I did recently just get a new job and I do live in a condominium, so I have to cover my work truck because it is a commercial vehicle. So uh, it doesn't matter what color I go with or really even that it fits. I just need to basically cover the truck as best I can. And first thing I actually want to point out here is it's actually kind of like a paperish type material. Or is that just the bag that it comes in? So as you can see, you open up this bag here and in an airtight bag is your car cover. So we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but what else you get in the bag is an extra set of drawstring, which is really nice. And then uh, you can pretty much just use this as a tote if you'd like. It does have the budge uh, branding on the front and what's actually really cool about this bag is it does say size 4 so if you have multiple trucks maybe you're a business owner and you uh, I don't know have a few work trucks in your lineup and need them covered uh, you could definitely organize them in your warehouse so as you can see it's folded up pretty nicely here it's uh, pretty space efficient and then it pretty much just unfolds now this is a full size truck cover so it's going to be much bigger than this table, I presume, but... And just to point out that this is almost sort of like a paper type material, I actually was able to just cut right through it, just a small cut, uh, nothing that's going to uh, harm the vehicle. Like I said, it is a commercial vehicle I'm using for work. Uh, if you're looking for something a little bit more heavy duty, uh, this might not be your first option. Okay guys, so before we go out and install the truck cover on our truck, I quickly just want to go over the size guide on the back. At the top left hand corner you can see it is a size 4. And then below you do get a list of trucks this cover does work with and the model years that this cover works with, which is really useful. But there is just a little bit of an incongruency here I noticed and it is that I have absolutely no idea what the Chevrolet CK is. If that was a truck at one point, please let me know because I've never heard Chevy title their trucks CK. And then another example is we have the Toyota T100. Uh, so that's just a little bit confusing to me. I'm not quite sure if the T stands for Tacoma or Tundra, but if we actually look in the upper right hand corner here, you can see it does list Toyota Tundra regular cab and then it actually gives us the year 1995 to present. And then if we look at the Toyota T100, it's only compatible for trucks between 1993 and 1998. So not quite sure that uh, the way that this is organized is all that helpful because uh, if you're going into the store looking for a cover for your truck, uh, no one is going to know quite right off the bat what a Jeep J10 is. And another thing that I quickly just wanna point out here is a lot of these dates are actually very old. Uh, the amount of people I imagine still uh, owning and operating a 53 to 83 Ford F-150 for work is probably nil. So uh, a little bit interesting that they would list older trucks and older model years and not newer model years. But the good news here is if you actually look at this very bottom row here, it gives you a much better idea as to what type of truck this truck cover will fit. So as you can see, you get the numbering here. So you've got trucks 2, 2X, 3, 3X, 4, and 4X. 
my truck should actually be a little bit too small for this cover uh, but it also looks like it would be perfect because I do have a single cab uh, truck just like number four so definitely know the measurement of your truck before you go in uh, because all these trucks actually look like a Nissan product As you can see here it's a pretty big cover so like I was saying I think this is going to be just a little bit too big but it's actually really nice now that I've actually got this wide open here is it actually does have a couple drainage ports here so when it does rain uh, water isn't getting uh, or collecting underneath uh, when this maybe folds down uh, so you're not going to have a problem with that which is really nice and then if we actually look my assumption is at the very back of this we're going to find a back sticker and it's in right here another way you're going to be able to tell that this is either uh, inside out or right side in is this tag here that lets you know front or back this one says back you want it actually tucked underneath the cover so okay guys what is going on so it's actually a different day i actually wanted to give the cover a day and a night to pretty much adjust to the car itself if you also remember from yesterday it was actually pretty windy out and so i thought maybe this would eventually blow off but it didn't actually so as you can see here uh, it's pretty much the exact same as how we left it uh, one thing that does look a little bit different from yesterday is just over the tire cap there it's a little bit up on the wheel but i think it pretty much just gradually moved up the wheel because i do remember struggling to pretty much get that cover over the wheel but one thing i think you'll probably notice here that's a little bit odd is my tailgate is sticking down so i actually do need to put down the tailgate uh, to get this cover on my truck snugly because as you can pretty much see it is oversized and this is a compact size truck another thing i actually want to just mention here is the antenna on the truck here it does stand out a little bit i am not quite happy with the way it looks but uh, it does fit underneath the cover which is extremely important so perhaps it was beneficial that i went with a size four because maybe if this cover was a little bit tighter over the truck i actually might do damage to that antenna but uh, so far, what I can pretty much tell you here is I am not worried that the antenna is going to rip through this material, even though I did say it was sort of like a paper-like material. I think you can sort of see it kind of looks like a paper towel, but then you can actually see some of the stitching here. So that means it is a little bit more durable than uh, your standard paper because I think the stitching would actually cause paper to tear. Uh, one thing I actually want to point out here, I think you can pretty much see but it looks kind of dirty that looks like a stain to me uh, there are a couple of wrinkles up here because it's been folded up for so long uh, but that will wear out I think in time that's not a big deal but what is a little bit of a disappointment here are these stains so not sure if maybe someone bought this and returned it uh, but as you can see it does its job and it does its job well the TB4 is the model of this truck cover you can find these on amazon but i picked this up at walmart it was i think i bought this for about 25 bucks but i'm not going to tell you you're going to get it for 25 bucks because uh online at walmart.com it's 49 so great little truck cover uh it did last all night last night and all day yesterday uh during that intense windstorm i think you can remember from the previous footage in today's video it held on pretty snugly and it's oversized so uh, my assumption is if you get a size that fits your truck snugly you're not going to have any problem and last but not least you got a good idea of what types of truck this cover will fit over my truck i would classify on that list as being a number two it is a chevy colorado twin cab it's under four thousand pounds it is classified as a compact truck uh, with that being said uh, 
if you do go with an oversized cover, it is probably going to be just a little bit easier to install and uninstall whenever you need to. So it will make it extremely easy when I come home from work and when I go to work in the morning to pretty much install it and uninstall it as I need it. Anyways guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of this Budge truck cover I picked up at Walmart for $44.96. Today we did an unboxing and a first impressions. I really hope you liked this video. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next video.